Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Tara, and I am a mom of two boys, a four-year-old and a two-year-old, and I make Montessori and motherhood videos here on my channel. If you've been following my channel, then you'll know that both of my boys are in a half-day Montessori program. Um, but because things right now with COVID are a little crazy, um, they are out of school right now. And so I'm doing a little bit more homeschooling and I thought that I would share um, what I have on our little homeschooling shelf. In 2020, when my oldest son was three, their school went virtual and then I just ended up pulling him out and we ended up doing um, homeschooling with him for that year. So I shared a lot of like my shelves and activities and homeschooling things that I was doing with him. But now that they are back in a brick and mortar school, I've stopped sharing a lot of the, those activities because honestly, I'm just not doing quite as many anymore. But a lot of you have reached out and asked like, why am I not doing the DIYs? Why am I not sharing that stuff? And while I didn't share very much here on YouTube, I was sharing a ton of that on Instagram. I thought I would just make a video to share here on YouTube and just give you some inspiration. And I know I just love seeing these videos of people sharing their shelfies and different activities that they're doing in their home. I thought we would focus on the solar system because both of my boys have been really into that lately. Prior to me setting up this shelf and doing this sort of like theme, I guess, um, which is not necessary to do by the way, I just enjoy themes. I enjoy learning and teaching through themes, but it is not necessary to constantly have a theme when you're doing homeschooling. It's just what I enjoy doing. So I'm going to show you kind of go through what I have, why I put it out, and then I'll link any of the resources that I use for any of the DIYs or materials that I printed off so that you guys can have access to that as well if you're interested in doing a similar solar system themed um, activity or shelf with your kids. All right, let's get into the video. The first thing that I put down here was this little mat for the boys. This was just a sun mat that I made and I thought it would go along really well with the theme. And here you can just see the overall shelf. This shelf is usually the shelf I use when I am doing a theme for the boys. So it's just a little shelf that we have in our playroom. Um, up here in the window, I found the, this rocket ship. So I decided to put that over there in the corner. I didn't really have room on the shelf. And then I added some books here. This first book is a space board book. This is a National Geographic's book. I love National Geographic's books. They have books from, for like little babies and toddlers, like these board books all the way up to big kids and adults. And I just think their pictures are wonderful. This book is called Where's the Astronaut? And this is just a fun lift the flat book. It's a little bit, um, young for my kids being two and four. I'd say this is really great for younger babies, but my two-year-old still really enjoyed it, so I thought I'll just put it out. The next book is a Hello World solar system book. I love the Hello World books. They're just so beautiful, um, and my kids really enjoy reading them. The next book we have here is called What is the Moon Like? Um, this is a new book to us and we really like it. It is a little bit more wordy. So I would say that this book is probably for older children, even for my four-year-old. Um, this book is a little bit long, but it does have really great pictures and diagrams and even some real pictures of space, which I like, like the moon landing and that sort of thing. And it goes into a lot of good detail about the moon. So. Um, you know, this could be a great book for, I would say ages like six and up. And then the last book is the Montessori Planet Workbook. We love this book. This is a great, easy to read and understand book about the planets in our solar system. Moving on, I have this little solar system model. I got this off Amazon. The boys got this for Christmas. Um, this particular one has the planets that you can move around the sun. And then at the bottom, it also has these little buttons that you can press and each one will tell you a different fact about that planet. 
It also has um, English and Spanish on it. And then at the very top there, you can see it has these little cards that you can insert and it can project onto the ceilings. This next item is a wood stacking rocket ship. It actually has magnets in it. This is such a great toy. My boys love playing with this and it's awesome for them to work on those fine motor skills and stacking. And over here, I just printed out some of these cards of the different planets. I think that this would have been more fun if it was a matching game, especially for Lucas, but all I had was one set of cards printed out. So that is all that I have right there. Moving down to the bottom shelf, I have just a basket full of little figurines of different space items, astronauts, the space rover, satellites, rocket ships, that sort of thing. So the boys had fun playing with these. Um, I think that this might have been a Safari LCD tube. I'll try to link it in the description box which one this, these were from. This could also be a great activity to do matching, so like picture to object matching. I didn't end up printing off any pictures to match them to, but this would be a great activity to do that with. The next activity I have is a puzzle activity. This one, you line up the numbers, so it's I think one through 10, and it creates a little picture here. This is a picture of the sun, the earth, and the moon. This type of activity is great for number recognition, sequencing, and even for early counting. And this is for my four-year-old to do. And the next item, this is actually from a KiwiCo box. This is a fun sensory game where you reach in and try to guess which item you're grabbing and match it up to the items on the side. So as you can see here, I've grabbed the felt sun, or you could say reach in and find the moon or find the sun and they can reach in and find those objects. And the final tray over here has planet matching. So as you can see, all of these planets are here and I have cut out the little planets to match them. So this is a great activity for both boys to be able to do. All right, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos just like this every week. I will see you in my next video. Bye.